the um, university uh, runs this payment plan. It is called UPay, U-P-A-Y. Um, it is done through the bursar's office. Uh, basically, when your bill comes due in August, you can make a payment up front. Um, the way our billing works, you'll get your bill in July. All of your charges will be listed on the bill for the fall semester only. There's a spring bill that comes out in December, same, same formula. So all your charges are listed on the bill in July. Uh, all of your financial aid for the fall semester is listed there. And it'll say, you know, here's your total charges, minus your total financial aid, pay this amount. And that amount due uh, will be due on uh, August 10th, typically, and then the spring bill is due January 10th. And your methods for paying are, you can obviously just write a check and pay out of pocket. You can send in scholarships, you could go get a private loan, um, or you could sign up for the payment plan, or you can blend all of those things. So like grandma's sending in a check and you wanna pay $1,000 and you wanna sign up for the payment plan, the kid got a scholarship, like all great, as long as it's all situated by August 10th. Um, the payment plan, the way it works is before August 10th, you sign a contract through the payment plan company, um, which is done again through the bursar's office, and you're committing to make a specific payment over the course of the semester, um, or you can do two semesters at a time and pay over the whole year. And they take your single semester contract amount and they break it into five equal payments. So if you say, yeah, I'm going to pay you $10,000 this fall using the payment plan, they'll bill you two grand a month, August, September, October, November, December. Um, there's no interest. Um, the bursar's office takes the value of your contract and takes it off the bill. So they treat it like you've made the payment, even though you haven't actually made it up, out, up front. Um, and then if, if at any point you need to change the payment, you can. So if you overshoot or you, know, you get a scholarship late or something like that, um, you can always lower the payment plan. Or if you undershoot on the first payment, like a scholarship doesn't come through and you end up needing to, to raise it, you can always raise it. And any changes you make, they'll spread it out over the rest of the payment. Um, there is a fee attached to it, so while it is interest-free, I believe it is $60 for one semester and $90 for the year, um, but it's fairly low cost. It's like an administrative fee to, to handle the contract and making sure the payments work correctly. Um, and you can make your payments monthly by writing a check to the payment plan, um, or you can set it up for like a direct withdrawal from a checking or savings account, um, or you can use your credit card to pay it, but they do charge you like a 3% fee to use your credit card, so, so please don't do that.